Greetings you in the name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The young man met his priest after a Sunday service. He told the priest, uh, Padre, I'm having some serious uh, problem in my marriage. The priest could not believe what the man was uh, trying to tell him because uh, he and his wife came to church together, sat together through the service, went out for communion together, and uh, went back home together. So the priest uh, just could not believe what the man was trying to say because he has always seen them to church together. And now the young man is saying, look, he's having a serious problem in his marriage. So the priest said, would you like to share with me your problem? What, what the problem that you're facing? The young man said, it will take hours. But he can we meet up uh, for dinner during one of these uh, weekdays? The priest said, okay. So the young man uh, and the priest met up for dinner and, uh, and the priest was surprised, really shocked. And the priest really said, the things that the man uh, said about his marriage. He said, Padre, you see us uh, in church, sitting together. The world sees us as husband-wife, better all uh, functions as husband-wife. But once we are back home, we are two strangers living under the same roof. We don't talk each other. There was a time, uh, Padre, you won't believe, we used to argue every day. Every day we used to argue. The priest was there. And then uh, the priest uh, said, uh, can I say a prayer for you, for your wife, and for your marriage? And the priest said a prayer, and uh, the man went back home. And then the man called the priest and said, Padre, can, I, can we meet again? Uh, so the priest said, okay. The man came and... Uh, spoke to him about uh, what was happening uh, in, it, in his married life. So the priest said, pray. And the man asked uh, the priest, Padre, I've given her everything that she needs. His wife was a housewife. Padre, I work. I work and work and work. We've got a beautiful house. I've never said anything. I've never said no to anything that she wanted. I've given her everything. I really don't know, Padre, what else can I do? The priest said, uh, we'll pray. I'm sure God will uh, show us uh, what went wrong in your marriage. Because uh, they were, it was a love marriage. They started off their married life beautifully, very romantic. But then as years went on, Things started to change. So the priest, uh, one day after meeting the young man, said, uh, When was the last you uh, told sorry to your wife? The minute the priest said that, 
Maintenant, le plus jeune qui a commis ça, Chen, c'est ça. Why should I say sorry to my wife? I am the man of the house. I am earning. I am supporting her. There's no need, Padre, for me to say sorry to her. Open the preacher said quietly in there. He didn't say anything. And then uh, the priest once again prayed for the couple and for their marriage. Then they met again. They met again for dinner. It went on for months. The priest really took interest in the, the, the young man's marriage. He, he made sure he had some time to spend with the young man practically every week, just to uh, pray with him. And then uh, one day the young man said, you know, Padre, you're right. And the priest said, what? Why, why do you say I'm right? You know, Padre, uh, things have started changing. Now, after you told me to say sorry to my wife, uh, I actually didn't want to say sorry. Uh, then one day I just felt that I, I should just say sorry to her. And I, uh, one day I took leave and I just sat at home. I really did not want to say sorry to her because you know, I'm a man. The fight. Then eventually I went up to her and uh, said sorry to her. And I uh, gave a hug. And I was surprised, Padre. Uh, she hugged me after so many months. She hugged me and she said sorry to me. A simple uh, word, sorry. Actually, sorry is a golden uh, word in any, any relationship, especially in uh, marriages. Sometimes it's very hard to say the word sorry because of our ego and pride. Sometimes when we do the simple things, God can take that simple act, a simple word, and transform our relationships, our marriages, into a beautiful relationship marriages. Will you please turn to uh, John uh, chapter 2? We've been looking at uh, Jesus uh, changing the water into wine. Verse 6. Nearby stood six stone water jars. Water jars. The kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. Then told them, now draw. Yes, Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Now there was, Jesus' mother had uh, told Jesus, look, they have run out of wine. A serious uh, crisis. They run out of wine, not run, of, run out of water. They run out of wine. And then Jesus tells the uh, servants to fill the water jars with water. <laughs> I'm not sure what was in the mind, what was running in the mind of the uh, servants. But none of them are questioned that Jesus. Jesus told them to fill the jars with water. They ran out of wine, but Jesus was telling them to fill the jars with water. And they obediently did what Jesus had told them. Verse uh, 8. Then he told them, Now draw some and take it to the master of the bank banquet. They did so. Verse 9. And the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where he had come from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. Then he called the bridegroom aside and said, 
everyone brings out the choice wine first and then the cheaper wine after the gas have had too much to drink but you have saved the best till now a very simple act did not cost the host anything did not cost the servants anything just 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 told them fill the chalice with water and they obediently did that and then the water was changed into wine now in our marriages uh, or even our relationships doesn't matter what relationship now if we are willing to submit our marriages to the authority of God if we are prepared to submit our relationships to the authority of God and uh, do the simple things that God tells us to do like in the story I shed the priest just felt in his spirit God telling him to tell the young man to say sorry to his wife the priest did not ask the young man to do something big the priest did not ask the young man to go and buy a brand new expensive car to buy his wife a, 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 a necklace uh, worth uh, four or five thousand dollars or to take his wife for a world tour in the spirit he felt God was telling uh, him to tell the young man just to say sorry and the young man just said sorry and gave a hug that cost the young man nothing how much do you think it would cost a young man to say sorry and to hug the wife nothing the young man just said sorry and hugged the wife simple and the ma- his marriage the young man's marriage which was about to collapse took a new turn a new beginning and the marriage became a beautiful marriage yes the couple came to church together after they were reconciled there was no more sitting quietly in the church the priest could see the change in their faces there was so much of joy and smiles on their faces they were a blessing to many other young couples so don't hesitate to do the small things that God tells you to do in your marriage just small things be humble enough crucify your pride ego and uh, be humble to do small things that God tells you to do and see what God does God will do Jesus took the wine of water and transformed it changed it into wine Jesus can do the same thing in your marriage in any marriage God bless you in the name of the Father Son and the Holy Spirit